Energize the Lawn Friend Podcast. That was another one of those records from that period that I spun ad nauseum. That was Diamond Dogs, David Bowie. So, and of course, my anyone who's been listening to me for the last five years knows that I always pull bites from the Twilight Zone Radio Theater, which was a beautiful series done, inspired by the original episodes, and that that's one of my favorites where a guy sells the soul to the devil, which gets us into the whole another conversation on do rock stars sell their souls to the devil? So let me invite my two guests who just walked in. Proprietor of the finest thin sliced Brooklyn pizza in the city of Los Angeles, Ooh. Mr. Steve Cohen, Ooh. who is in this book. Ooh. He is in Sweet Demotion. Ooh. Because I used to ride my bike. He's in Chapter 21. He used to ride my bike by his pizzeria, and What's he'd be the out there in front. Village Pizzeria. Oh. Oh. Get up to the mic. Say it again. Oh. <laughs> now, I think about him often. I thought last week in New York was in New York City, and we were my daughter and I were walking <clears throat> walking um, right past Madison Square Garden, and I said, hey, Meg, you know Steve from the Village? That's where he saw his first concert. First concert. Tell us about your first concert. Oh, my first concert. Going to camp in Pennsylvania as a 15-year-old lad, and my brother... Sent for me by surprise to go to the big city first time. Did the day show, walked into a cloud of smoke, and it was Bangladesh. Right, it was George Harrison's. Oh. It was the first, the first, uh, what do you call it, charity? Yes, benefit. Benefit concert yes, ever. Absolutely. $235,000 was the check yeah. that was originally cut. Yeah. I have that on the wall. Yeah, and think about how many of the artists we've been talking about were at that gig who yeah. are go- no longer here. Leon, Leon Russell, George Harrison. Billy. Yep. Billy P. Yep, Billy Preston. The fifth, the fifth Beatle. Most of Badfinger. Badfinger. Yeah. Who yeah. Ravi, really didn't weren't Ravi Shankar. Credited. Now, the other voice you hear here is my friend Junkman Jordan Walsh, a seasoned disc jockey in the ways of metal and music who's been my friend since the KNIC.com days, which we mentioned earlier in 2000, which is also in Sweet Demotion. Beautiful days of walking into uh, see you and, uh, and uh, Bob Ezrin and Rob Jones and Paul doing all the thinking yeah. in the middle of the, and Frank Meyer. Frank doing, Meyer. Doing all, the, doing all this Frank Meyer was invited tonight. He was going to bring in the Sweet Walking Cheetahs guitar and play right. for us, but he's in Idlewild. Really? With his daughter, I think, or well, some girl. There's an excuse. That's a good yeah, one. You know, that's... Tis a season. Tis a season to nice be Nice to snowy. see you, by the way, my friend. Oh. And so... Junkman brings me this Henry Miller shirt. Sure. He knows that he's my hero. And Nadia and I have a great bond about Henry Miller mm-hmm. and an Anais Nin. She gave me an Anais Nin book for my, for Christmas. Well, there you go. That it's all that. connected. <laughs> and it says, Chaos is the score upon which reality is written. Oh. Exactly. That's the man. That's Big a rock and roll line if there ever was. Nadia, so were you just written, in Big Sur? So before there said. was rock and roll. Were you just in Big Sur? Yeah, I was just in Big Sur. I was um, taking photographs oh. of original manuscripts and correspondences Beautiful. between uh, Henry and my, happy my place. godfather's father. That's where I got married. Highway That's where one. I drove by uh, wait, wait, wait. a year ago today. Wait, who got married? I did you got married in Big Sur. I did. My wife, Val, and I got married in Big Sur. Nice. At the Post Ranch Let's give Inn. give a round of applause. I feel like we need marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to make s'mores around this <laughs> fire tonight <laughs> out here. It's with a uh, We'll be played at least once, right? Now, Steve, I'm pl- he walks in while uh, a song from the 60s and 70s, and he, and he tells me who's been coming into his restaurant, who has frequented yeah, his restaurant yeah. and we earlier he didn't hear this part because you can't hear it in the car no i tried but you told us that leonard cohen used yes, to come into your place yes i've had several uh, visits by mr cohen of no relation and uh he sat at the counter often came alone and um it was a, a peculiar aura of him we he got his space yeah but I would, you know, me in my social way, come over, yeah. share that we have the same last name, yeah. and how grateful I am of his presence and appreciating his his uh, accomplishments and his career. And there was a mutual, there was a, definitely a mutual respect for him loving my product and, and me uh, knowing who he was. But he, there's something about Larchmont in general. It, mm-hmm. Paparazzi don't come. Right. People don't bother people on on our street. Right. And that was, you know, very very. Uh, 
understanding over the years, and I've had several others over the years that we, when I'm with you and your company, I realize it comes to me what, what the music, rock and roll uh, people have been in both my stores over the years, and it's quite profound. It's yeah, I, I introduced you to Niels Lozauer yes, all those years who ago. opened who up was, the door. Who, yeah, who, who uh, it's because of him that Paul Stanley was flipping pies in, yes, your, in yes, your place. Yes, yes. <laughs> And, uh, and, and you got and, your and, exactly. and Gene and Gene says the, the name will never work. You got to change the name. You got to change your meatballs are good, but the name will never work. You got to change the name. <laughs> Tell me about Leonard Cohen. Did he actually ask you for? Do you have any crushed red pepper? No, he <laughs> was very, again very had his space, very very quiet, <laughs> and we gave him his space. Good. Just him being there was enough for me to run in the back and go, holy shit! And everybody knows. <laughs> <laughs> but as I was mentioning. Um, you know, we, we had, uh, you were just showing me something on Pink Floyd, and one of my biggest um, uh, fan, uh, musical love, George Harrison, I had Danny Harrison one day with uh, Stephen Gilmore, David Gilmore's kid, and they were eating lunch. They were, had been over to Capitol Records in my Hollywood store, and I was just, uh, shit, it was like a, a, a kid in the playground, just sitting there talking about George and David, and um, I, I was overwhelmed. They, they enjoyed their food, and I enjoyed the conversation. But they, they enjoyed li like literally talking about you know, as oh, much yeah. as they possibly could about their parents? Uh, no, they were very reserved. You had to be very careful of the questions yeah. that you ask, and I just was, you know, very... They weren't Jerry Lewis by any means. No, no. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> you saw the Jerry Lewis oh, interview. Oh, man. He's 91, oh. and, is, and he's eating alive, this oh, pro God. Hollywood reporter. I did not like interviewer that. Interviewer who just... He did everything but fling poo at him like the monkeys <laughs> in the zoo. You know, basically he did with his with his attitude. But here, but think about this for a second. All right, we're talking about artists who may have been snapped at early times, like '60s. All of these icons from the '70s who lived so hard mm -hmm. and created such great music, and some of them have been sober for three decades. Yeah, they're all him. dying in their late '60s. They're all dying. And this yes. angry and SOB is 60. still living, and he's 91, yep. and he he's Jerry Lewis, which is He's a legend in so many ways, but he just keeps chugging along. And maybe yeah. he's sick, and he, but he's angry. But yeah. what I got out of that he was angry. his love, true love for Dean. He loved Dean Martin. And that that was his, the pinnacle of his career. Yeah. That after so many years that they were will, he was willing to And admit. his telethon. I would have liked to watch him explode if I would have only just asked him about when the clown cried, you know, the day the clown cried movie. <laughs> I would have loved to just watch his eyes blow up and have him just... <laughs> He'd go right there. If I would, if I would. Do you remember Cinderella? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, so yeah. you guys, are, you're in. Hey Hollywood. lady. Hey lady. Hey lady. <laughs> <laughs> it's Jerry, man. But Jerry Lewis, he on. made it through 2016. He did. He's and so did right Don Rickles. Yeah, but who's Rickles, nice. George Burns, but Rickles is still cool. George Rickles Burns is still cool. You know? Yeah. That's the thing. You now, wait a minute. Him. You just told me, Shane, someone died at 99 in your family just before the election. Uh, yeah, my grandmother, Margie, God rest her. And right. the, the text that was going around the family was, well, thank God she wasn't here to see this. Because <laughs> her, her birthday was on Super Tuesday. Yeah. Oh. My dad, you know, my dad is 99. Yeah. Yeah. Your dad's 99. And my Aunt Lil in Brooklyn right now is 104. It's in the water, man. 104. Yeah. That's where Margie lived, Brooklyn. Or Floral Park. It's the, which it's is the from water. It's the water. <laughs> it's the water. Which Same you thing with work the, for your pizza, right? Same yeah. thing with the pizza yeah. and the cheese. Yeah. Right? yeah. Exactly. yeah. I still bring it in. I have a pipeline. Uh, that's it. That's it, man. Yeah. When it's not your time, nothing can take you. When it is your time, nothing you're can gone. save hey, your number that's comes right. up. That's live right. by that. Yeah. You have to. It's crazy. Hey, your number comes up, it's time to. You have to. Yeah. That explains an awful lot. You yeah. know, with Which means know. we have to really be here now. We have to be. Thank you, Ram Das Cohen. Be here now. <laughs> Think I got that from Ravi. Has there ever been a year in like popular culture where so many popular no. people have and, been? And, and another one today. One of my favorite drummers. Weather of all Report. Time. No, Alphonse Muzan. One of the he best. He was in Weather Report? He, well, he played with the guys in Weather Report. Okay, talk times. about Alphonse. Alphonse Muzan had more chops than Benny Hanna, man. Wow. This guy was amazing. <laughs> well said, As, as opposed to being a drummer. You know, I'm a drummer 46 years. Alphonse Muzan was one of those guys that had chops that were so ridiculous that you could not follow this guy. Yeah. I posted a thing on my Facebook page today of him playing with uh, 
with Jocko Pastorius. And Jocko is looking at him and just yeah. putting on his, you know, of all people, yeah. looking at Alphonse Muzan playing and just smiling. That's a hellish rhythm section. My God, it's the best. Uh, in terms of, they're musicians, musicians. Yeah. He was on a lot of things. Matter of fact, for those in the know that, like, want to figure out who this guy is that don't really know their jazz or anything like that. He was the drummer in That Thing You Do. When the kid I goes, love that movie. When the kid goes oh, to the jazz club and he's yeah. playing the drums, that's Alphonse. Yeah. Tom Hanks. Yes. Playtone. Yes. Yes. But when the kid goes to the jazz club and Hank, Tam Hanks' wife is the waitress, My, the guy playing the drums I and want he's you loving, to find that's Alphonse. That Thing You Do. Yeah. So I love being But they don't have that. They don't have that jazz thing. Out of the way. It's crazy. By the way, it was Fountains of Wayne who yes. wrote all those songs. Yes, absolutely. That was uh, That's George them. Jason. Or yeah, Fountains of Wayne. Yeah, they're great. I love that. And movie. Tom Hanks helped them with the lyrics. Li uh, that's li that's Liv yeah. Tyler. Yeah. Have, have you have you ever watched the director's cut on that? The there director's you know. cut brings that movie to a whole that's other it. thing. They there's a there's a there's a scene where Tom Hanks pulls up to the hotel with his boyfriend. Played by Fred Dreyer, so it's got that Whoa. part of in there. There's a whole other lot of things with the director's. I want to hear that. Mike. So you have to go see it. that. But doing that thing you do. But when he goes to the when he goes to the blue, I'll sing it. Whatever the jazz club that he goes to, and he's loving that jazz band and just like shaking his head and just loving everything about it. Alphonse is the drummer that he's watching. So and but, he passed today. He passed today. Wow. Yes, today. Another today. One. Wow. Today. And then George Michael. What yes, today. Oh, man. Wow. Yeah, well, I'm gonna close. Did you I see the a, pictures of George, George Michael yeah. of him? Oh, I don't said it wasn't I, I, even I don't, him. People I don't, don't believe, believe it was him. It was him. Those pictures are terrible. He plumped up Whoa. like a ballpark Frank yeah. if he did. It's pretty big, but but someone posted 53? the original driving around in car the cars the, yeah, the James Gordon, Gordon yeah. does the karaoke. The first one he did was yeah. with George, George Michael, Michael, and it's so funny. Over there, These two Britain, Englishmen yeah. running around. Um, so funny. Yeah. Do we have the lead guitar player for Status Quo? What two days? No, ago? I played. I just played. I played he, yeah. that. I played the Matchstick Man. Yes, and that's that's uh, his opening guitar riff, yeah. Rick. <laughs> That's how we started the show. Remember the remake thing? of that where they did that with a violin? <laughs> See, we have knowledgeable people here at yes. the Energize Studio tonight. I have, this is the biggest crowd I've had in a while. Well, you know. <laughs> did you bring pizza? No. Oh. We thought about six it. days. We thought, I thought about, about it, it. but I, wanted, oh, I didn't. I didn't yeah. want to be. Uh, I didn't want to be known for just that. I wanted to be welcome without the pizza. Well, you know, you're always. I welcome. know, of course. I did we my saw, beard. We, my beard for you. We saw some concerts together. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Greek yeah. theater. Yeah. Didn't we do the? Uh, didn't we go to uh, Fonda? For Zach, weren't you with me? No, that was my friend Rick no. to see Zach at, at no, Fonda. No, that was another Jewish and then, guy with uh, a goatee. You two-timer. You and I went Leon. to see Zach at the Fonda. Oh, okay. Then I yeah. saw Leon at the Fonda and went around to the bus. They stole somebody stole wait, uh, wait. a guitar of his, of his band member. Leon. Yeah, so Leon. His bus was parked on the side street. Yeah. That was the biggest loss of the year, as far okay. as I'm concerned. Let's get some Leon Russell up next. Yeah, that was my that was probably my biggest. And we loss. saw him at the Grammy Museum up in front and personal. My Leon Russell story is very weird. The first job I real job I had was a, I was a courier with Kaiser Permanente. And before I got to UCLA my last year at Valley College, I drove lab work around the city. And there was a lab in North Hollywood where we had to pick up sputum and blood, Ugh. take it to the main centers. Don't say and it. That was my job. Leon across the street from the North Hollywood you was, carry Leon's. was Leon Russell's oh, I thought you studio <laughs> was Leon. It was on Hollywood Way, and and did you see that last? That was the studio, and I saw him like so many times with his long beard. Yeah, this was in the mid seventies. He still that, had the beard in the seventies. What was that place called? He did. They posted a great concert. He owned it from for like that studio decades. Along in Hollywood, just recently when he passed. There's no signage on it. It's this blank gray building. But I saw him go in there as as I was driving my lab work around. I was 18, 19 years old. I met him over here in Long Beach when he was playing. We did a tour with Johnny Winter, and he played a place called Bogarts. Bogarts. In Long Beach, and, yeah. and I worked next door. And yeah. I used to go down, yeah. and I'd get there in the afternoon or whatever like that, and I'd get to, to talk with the guys as they were you know, doing I'll tell you, did, did you see nice the Union tour with Elton? No. I, saw I, did, I did. Hollywood yeah. Palladium yeah, in the room where the rip parties took place. Yep. Elton and, and Leon comes out with his cane, yep. and he looks like he can barely get in it behind the piano. The minute he puts his cane down and they start playing, he is yep. 
Reborn. The Delta Lady was mind blowing that yeah. night. And that's the night favorite. that I saw T Bone Burnett backstage as he produced he was, that record. Yeah. Th this Hollywood concert, I have it right here, yeah. was with the Claudia Lanier, who was the backup singer, who was in that famous backup singer movie, 20. What was it? Just the one. Feet the, from oh, yeah, Sardom. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Feet and from she, Sardom, yeah. this was a. a Thank you. Not Everybody's in it. Everybody's Not in it. We're all contributing was, tonight. I don't know if you yeah. saw this gig, but it was an incredible night of raw music from Leon. <sighs> I'm just saying that I loved him too. And the last show I did, I played Stranger in a Strange Land, which remains my favorite Leon song. But. But his Bangladesh riff. His, yeah, he was, that's, off, that's he was that just show. off of his. Yeah. He just came in. What out now? now? Take you oh, away, away. green light. Young blood. Young he blood. He just came off with some stuff right he off just of his. Pumped screen. right into that. <laughs> <I didn't know. laughs> just brought it. That's yeah. that's my youth too, yeah, man. Yeah, I had yeah. that record. Yeah. I always yeah. wanted to see him do a duet with Dr. John. I met Dr. John this year, which was an experience. It was awesome. Got to spend some time with him. Wait, wait. Could be. Did Dr. John, did no, he die? No, he's here. He's, he's still here. alive. He's here. Dr. Hook. But I would have loved to see the two of Dr. Dr. Hook. Dr. Hook. The medicine show. Yeah. See, I yeah. gotta keep on. We gotta thank Elton for pulling Leon. I never heard that story. That yeah, I Elton, never thought Elton, that, see, Elton that Leon was in the back, the back, back of the you know back of the bus, yes. and that Leon brought him back out into yeah. the forefront. Yeah, El yeah, Elton loved. Was he crazy. was one of his heroes because of that crazy. stride way of playing the piano. He, yep. he is one of Elton's true influences. Well, you think of all the records that Leon was on back yes. in the day. Uh, he was a record crew guy. member. He was, he was a record guy on all those he was records. Was playing You know, he was the he was the house. He was the house piano player at Shindig and yes. at the Tammy Show. Yes. He was the house piano yeah. player at the City Tammy Night Show. Day. All Day. that stuff, um, where the action is. He did all that stuff. That was that was that was him. Delta Lady. Oh, you want to hear some Delta Lady? Can we hear some Delta Lady? I found Come on, it's Energize the Lot Fit Podcast. <laughs> 